we have parameterized surface area to compute here. And it's on page 638 in the textbook. Now, luckily, our situation is just like this picture. We're rotating about the x-axis, just like the, they are here. If we were rotating about the y-axis, what would change? Everywhere you see an x would become a y, and all the y's would become x's. But luckily for us, we're using this formula right here as is. We have our a and b values, 0 and pi over 2. So all I really need to do is get x prime and y prime. So x is 20 cos cubed theta. x prime, 3 times 20 is 60. cos squared, derivative of cosine is sine, negative sine. So that's x prime. And we're at as negative 60 cos squared theta sine theta. That's x prime. y 20 sine cubed theta y prime 60 sine squared derivative of sine is cosine. So there's our y prime. Now we're ready to make our substitutions in here. So we're going 0 to pi over 2. Regular y, that's up first. 20 sine cubed. And then inside the square root. x prime, this is squared, so it's 60 cos squared sine. Now I left off the negative because we're about to be squaring it so that negative is going to disappear when we square it. Plus y prime is another 60 sine squared cos theta. So this looks very fun. Let's go ahead and square these. So what's 60 squared? Let's leave it as 60 squared. I think it's 3,600, but we'll leave it like this for now. Cos squared squared, that is cos to the fourth, sine squared plus 60 squared, sine to the fourth, cos squared. Okay. So we have 60 squared, we can factor out. It comes out of the square root as 60. So we have two pi, the 20 is coming outside. The 60 is gonna be factored out and brought outside. So we have integral sine cubed theta square root. All right, what can I factor out with the sines and cosines? I can factor out sine squared cos squared And what are we left with? Cos squared plus sine squared. And these are all d thetas. Okay, what's cos squared plus sine squared? That's one, so that will cancel out. Cos squared sine squared, well, those come outside the square root as just regular cos, regular sine. And cleaning up our constants, we have 4, 40 times 60, something with two zeros, and 2400 ish. All right, what next? Well, we're going to write this as sine to the fourth theta cos theta d theta. We haven't had to do anything fancy other than follow directions and do a little bit of algebra here. So how do we integrate this? We're gonna let u equal sine theta, so du cos theta d theta. 
So that's all du. You just have u to the fourth du, and you can finish that off.